The user UJames1978 suggested in a comment to a video of mine that he pointed out that a lot of these arguments against religion they get repeated a lot. You know, the same different people use the same arguments a lot. So maybe the best thing is to, you know, tell your personal story. I was always an atheist, so I don't personally have a personal story of that sort. But, as I've already mentioned in a couple of videos, I was once engaged to a Christian woman from the South. And I haven't really gone into great detail about that in any videos, so this is that. We met six or seven years ago, I guess, seven by now, and we were together for five years. It was just somehow really good right from the start. It was kind of for both of us like finally being understood, finally meeting someone that that just really got it, you know, that really got you, that really, the same type of humor, we liked some of the same things about shows, still do, some of these videos and some of my humor she might still appreciate, though I doubt she'll ever watch my videos. I know everyone says that about their first love, says this about their first love, but it was just so big, so, so epic, you know, the, the kind of, it's ever, neither of us were really romantics, neither of us had really expected for someone to, you know, just, for it to seem so perfect with another human being, and I mean, I am a bit of a romantic, and maybe I was before that, but I didn't really believe it. I didn't believe that it could just really work. For various reasons, and neither did she, and I'm not going to claim that religion was the only problem And I do consider myself a very objective person who applies abstract thinking as much as humanly possible. And I will say that, yes, there were other problems, but the biggest one had to do with religion, very directly with religion. And we both realized that it was a problem, but she couldn't quite abandon the religion. And this wasn't a dumb woman. I couldn't really imagine prolonged social yeah, I, I, I don't think that I could actually enjoy being with a woman or a girl for a really long time and really feel fulfilled if she wasn't smart. She was. She is. Though I don't have any contact with her anymore. She a very smart person. She, we, we had some really good debates, and she made points that even I hadn't really, mostly in subjects that I hadn't already really thought about, but we challenged each other. We, there, there was really something there. It wasn't like 
one of us was just smarter than the other, really. There were, we had different areas of expertise, but the only, there, there were some things that she at least didn't accept. I don't know if she does today, but she wasn't, she wasn't ignorant, that wasn't, she, she had just always been raised with religion, with Christianity, and she had a lot of problems with Christianity. She made really good points against it, and she didn't agree with, she didn't blindly accept, there were, there were a lot of things at least that she didn't blindly accept about Christianity and the Bible. But she still couldn't let it go. She she could not. I mean, I wasn't asking her to give up religion. I knew right off the bat that she was religious, and she knew right off the bat that I was an atheist. But she couldn't... She couldn't compel herself to make the changes that were necessary for the relationship to work. I don't really want to go into the details, but it just, it was a problem, it was related to religion, and we both knew it, we both realized that there was a problem there, and no, it wasn't the only problem, but I think that the rest could have worked out. It was... It was this one deal breaker that and I don't know if it would necessarily have been the best thing if we had kept and unless things had changed more than just the one thing because the relationship wasn't perfect far from it. But if that one problem, if she had been able to go against her religion in that one area, I could imagine we'd still be together today. And and I would say that the only real reason for this was just religion, indoctrination, this threat, the, the fear that Christianity uses to keep their followers, its followers, from questioning too much, from changing too much, from leaving the religion. So yeah my sort of personal story.